Hey guys, what's up? It's I, Jevin. How is everybody doing? I am back with episode number six on our Super Flat series. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys like the rotation of videos I've been putting out. It seems like each series is doing about every four days at this point. So, um, episode five went out four days ago, but in between that was a bonus episode. So you're getting your fill of every series plus bonus videos. And it's, uh, it's, we've been two, doing a lot of two videos a day now, and it's pretty awesome. And I just want to, um, say thank you guys for, like, all of your support. You guys are amazing. And I've been putting it, like I said, I've been putting a ton of work into the channel, and that result is really showing in just the overwhelming amount of just everything, comments and all that good stuff. And, uh, without you guys, I'm nothing. So thank you. You guys rock. So what are we doing today? Um, first off, we're going to start off by trying to craft the digital miner. It's pretty tough. We're going to try our best. Uh, but before we do that, we should probably get uh, through the formalities first. So first off, Jevonator Challenge for this video, guys. Last time we did 900 likes, so this time we're going to do 950. Uh, so beat 950 likes, guys, within the day or two of the video coming out, and you will get a bonus video. And you guys love those bonus videos. Last time we did Lucky Blocks and we got murdered. <laughs> it was too bad. It was so bad. Oh, my God. Um, I've been thinking about the question of the day for quite a while. I've got a good one. Oh, yes. So, imagine you're Notch, right? And you're like, okay, I'm going to create Minecraft. When you start creating Minecraft, and this is the question, and you have the knowledge that you have now, do you create Minecraft modded, but that would be natural vanilla, so when you're creating Minecraft, you have all of the stuff that we have right now, or do you go the vanilla route? What do you guys think? So basically the question is, you're creating Minecraft, and um, what do you create? Do you create this experience, or do you create the vanilla experience? Let me know in the question, the comment section down below, guys. That's a, that's a hard question, because I know some of you are going to be like, modded, but then if you, do, if you do modded, you know, what does the community do? You know? So if you do vanilla, then the community comes into play, and everything is how it is. So, it could be a completely different outcome of what it is today. That's right. That's a hard question. Uh, I've been working on the border quite a lot here. We've got a um, cobblestone generator over here. I'll run over here and show you what we got. It's just a basic transfer node. We've got lava and a bucket of force, and it just comes right into this chest. Um, we are so close to moving. And if I can get out here, I'll show you. Right there. So, man, there's nodes all over the place. You see that one too? Right there. Nice, nice, guys. Okay, so I'm going to get ready to uh, start crafting this digital miner, and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, guys, so this is some pretty serious crafting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. If it takes too long, I will cut. Uh, I'm going to try my best to get through this pretty fast, though. Um, so the first thing that we're going to need is power, but luckily it does run off thermal expansion power. This is a metallurge, metallurge, metalluric infuser, and it's fully powered right now. And so what we want to do is we're going to need to put some iron through this thing in just a moment. Uh, we'll do that first. Okay, so we want to make um, the digital miner. So it's this guy right here. All this advanced crafting, we are going to start with the teleportation cores and go from there. So, let's see here. We'll take these, and then so we need to make all of this stuff, which is osmium dust. So, we do have osmium, fortunately. I'm going to grab probably... Let's start with 16 and put it in the pulverizer, and that's going to make us the osmium dust that we need. There we go. And let's go back. Um, so we've got that going. What do these take? Okay, so now we need to put iron in here. How much iron do we have? Iron. I got to warn you guys, this machine is very loud. Let's take that, and then let's take a piece of gold or two. Actually, let's break these. Oh, Greg Tech. Greg Tech, please. I'm going to cast these because we will need that gold. Gold, please. Nothing in here. Alright, let's go ahead and um, drop those two in there. And let's grab our redstone clock while we're at it. Make sure that those cast what we want. 
Hopefully that doesn't cast that blood or anything. See, so I don't think it will. Okay, good deal, good deal. Okay, so while we wait on iron... Actually, you know what? We have enough to get started. Um, wait, I think it takes redstone. There we go. So, 20 redstone. I'm assuming it takes redstone per usage. Oh, I see, I see. Let's put a couple more pieces in there. So it's going to make those little pieces that we need. Um, we need four of those, so it means we need a total of eight. Yeah, so we need way more iron. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. So that's going to start casting that gold. What do we have here? Okay, so we've almost got three or four of them. So yeah, you can see like actually how long this is going to take to craft because it's going to take quite a while. I might actually just cut. I don't. I don't think I want to show all this because it's going to take a while. All right, guys, I am back. Holy crap! I am so glad that I cut that because it took. So, it's taken so long. Uh, I initially made this one machine, this metalluric, metalluric infuser. Metallurgic and I don't know how to pronounce it. Osmium compressor and I had to make a crusher as well. So we're so close guys. So the first thing that we need to do to finish this is we're probably going to need seven more of those. So let's go ahead and put this up here. We need to grab a little bit more redstone. Um, put like maybe six in there or something like that. Uh, next up we need to get some rubber. Grab this. So we're like, we're really on the finishing stages here. That's why I cut back so we can go ahead and just finish crafting it on camera. But seriously, don't ever craft this thing. <laughs> it is not worth it. I, I actually, I, I, that's not true. I don't know if it's worth it yet or not. Um, how much of these are done? That up there. Clear that. Okay, so the we need to uh, get... Do we have any rubber? We have five. That should be enough minium stone and then we're going to need some coal there there that should be enough okay I need the minium stone again do we have any copper tin that either ran out of redstone or it's finished Then we'll make uh, some plates. Cut those plates into wire. Turn those wire into cable. Put that back up there. And then we're going to need iron. And we need to make one plate for that. Um, come on. And I think we should be able to make one of these. Okay, so we're still missing some. Oh, that sucks. Uh, we need another diamond. Gold. And I'm pretty sure we're one short. We'll throw, wait, is there more iron in there? Yeah, I need to grab redstone. Like three of those. Should be enough. Okay, how are we doing here? I think this is going to be everything. There we go. So you see how long it took just to do this last step? Try crafting all this other stuff. Not cool, man. There we go. Atomic core. What is it saying we're missing? Logistical. I remember crafting those. There we go. Oh my god, that took so long! I think it's going to be worth it though. So if you guys don't know what this thing does, is it mines for us. And it's awesome. So right now it doesn't have any power, right? It needs power. What I think I'm going to do is make a solar panel for it. I don't know where to put it though. There is a um, there is a solar panel. I'm gonna try to just put it on top of it. I don't know really a lot about mechanism though. Solar panel, osmium, 
and Rochelle. Oh, oh my god. Uh, okay, so we're going to need more iron. I'm hoping that this will work. Actually, you know what? We should probably test this in a creative world first before I go ahead and make that thing. This. Uh, I want to make sure that it's going to power it because I'm not going to waste my time if it's not going to power it. Digital miner. Was there like a wolf around here or something? Oh, it does power it. Look at that. Okay, then. Yeah, alright. Well, then we're good to go. Um, does it take more than one? I bet it, is it even faster now? Uh, you know what? We'll stick to one for now. Okay, so... I still don't have to um, config radius, minimum, maximum, uh, radius four. Soak off, pull start. <laughs> I have no to mine. I I definitely did that wrong. Is there no way to reconfig it? Oh, I'm probably going to have to put it back down, aren't I? Uh, let's throw another solar panel. My solar panel's already up there. Config. So, radius 15. Minimum. Zero. Or five, I guess. I don't know. I guess that's as far as it's going down. 20. I, I don't know. No idea how to use this thing. Reset, auto eject, auto pull, so touch. Reset, config. Um, here, let's reset it again. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, I think I'm back and ready to go. Um, I've made enough here to make nine of these solar panel pieces. We're gonna do that. Put that up there, clear that, and then we want to come back. So we have those up there, so we need to make this. There's one solar panel, there's two, and I figured we would be missing stuff for the third one. Um, so we need... Uh, what are we actually missing? We're missing the enriched alloy, which is iron. Grab that. Put that down there. And we're missing this guy. So we'll need two more pieces of iron to go through here then. Um, okay. So three solar panels. I, 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 I watched a pretty extensive tutorial on this thing to figure out what I needed to do to make it run efficiently. And uh, three solar panels is what we need. Okay, so once that's finished, that'll make three. And then we need to make a basic cable. Basic. Uh, where's that? Is this it? This is it right here. We need to make this. There we go. I was like, are you gonna crash? <laughs> There's three solar panels. The stack, no. So let's put all of that stuff away. That away. We need to make this. And let's grab some food. A bacon burger will do. And before we go out there, cobblestone, stone, gravel, uh, stone. Just trying to think if there was any other blocks in the ground. Well, I don't have any other ones in my inventory. Okay, we should be good. Alright, so, like I said, I tested this in creative mode. This should work. Um, first thing, we need a couple blocks to get up there. Let's see what we'll do. Come on. 
Oh, I didn't realize. Can I jump on it from here? Oh, I can. Look at that. Uh, so there, there, there. This thing's got like a weird hitbox to it, man. There, there, there. So this thing is getting more than enough energy. Okay, so to config this, first thing we want to do is we want to leave Soak Touch off. Um, I was going to use Soak Touch, but it uses a ton of power. And I don't think we'll be able to run efficiently if we have Soak Touch on. Um, so we want to config this. So Radius is actually the area in which it mines around it. So right now it's going to go 10 blocks on each side. Or actually, if it was set to Radius, it would go 5 on each side of the miner. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. So we want to do si we want to do thirty-two. So it's doing sixteen on each side. Um, thirty-two is the maximum. So this right here, minimum and maximum is maximum is how high this thing is going to mine up. So right now we're standing on level sixty-five, right? Yeah. So we want this to go to sixty-five. Minimum, we don't want this thing down at bedrock. So we want to make it come up to probably level five. I would say. And there we go. So I'm pretty sure Bedrock goes to level 4. And then up above that is level 5. Um, yeah. And then we want to do inverse mode on item stack. And then we want to add our stone. Save. Gravel. Save. Dirt. Save. Cobblestone. Save. And that should be everything. Start. Oh, I forgot about red and black granite. Um, stop. Let me grab this. Reset config item stack. There we go. Start. I wonder. Oh, 61,000. I just added that, though. I wonder why it's still pulling that up. Stop. Reset. Config. That's right there. Um, okay. I wonder why it's still... Let's try it for giggles one more time. So it's still got all of that stuff here. I don't know. Inverse on. And it's still pulling that up. Now that that confuses me. I, I have no idea why it's doing that. Because I have it filtered out and it's still just doing it. So I don't know how to reset this thing completely either. That's going to fill this thing up completely because it's doing that. I wonder why it's doing that for. To mine, so pull... Config. Is there a way? Delete. I'm going to remove all of these real fast. Okay. Item stack. Cobblestone. I was thinking maybe if I just, you know, reset the entire filter. Save. Four. Which one do I have not have in there? Gravel? First mode on. Start. And it's still mining it. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Like, it's basically just ignoring that. And I don't know why. Okay, so I made myself one of these uh, electric chests. And I'm not, I've never actually seen the storage on this thing before. So I, I really have no idea that right there and then let's put one of these pipes down uh, so maybe that doesn't work maybe I was wrong I thought for sure you'd be able to store into one of those and e either way you know it's fine uh, it does have its own storage I'm not exactly worried about it um, the heck do you use to break this thing maybe I just put it in the wrong spot as well hello Can I not break that thing? Do I need to wrench it or something? 
Look at this guy go. Yeah, 18,000 things to mine. Um, guys, I'm not exactly sure how to break this thing. Maybe a wrench? Wrench, please. We'll see if this Ender I.O. wrench works. Maybe I just gotta sit there and pound on it for 400 years. I can move it. I can't break it, though. That's so freaking weird. Okay, guys. Well, trees are on fire. Nice. <laughs> Never occurred to me to power the electric chest. Ta-da! Um, what now? Password. What should the password be? The password should be... Uh, Jevenators. Ha ha! So, can I pick it up now? Well, I can. So we've got the password set. What, what, what is weird is that you can't output into it, though. Maybe if I move it one block away. There we go. So all of our goodies are going into the chest now. Now, does the chest need to be remained? Okay, I can still open it. It's still got power. Right. Good deal. I like it. <laughs> so this thing is very cool, man. I I, uh, I enjoy this. This is uh, pretty awesome, I gotta say. Um, it's weird, though, because like when this thing was running before, maybe the auto-output feature is what's causing it to lose all its energy. Because as you can see... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm just gonna let it run and do its thing, man. Because now we're getting all the goodies, and I like it. Um, anyways, guys, I'm sorry this episode sort of turned out to be all about mechanisms, but I had fun, and I hope you guys had fun. Don't forget about the question of the day and the like challenge. 950 likes, guys. I hope that you enjoyed, and I hope you guys have just a great day. And uh, once again, thank you guys so much for the support. Uh, this is iJevin. Peace out.